This is Code.org, and we're starting our Velocity app. All right, let's see what we've got going on here. Examine all the elements, get a sense of the inputs. Um, and we actually did this a bit last bubble, you can say. But what are the inputs? All right, let me hit run here. Anywhere the user interacts and data is exchanged. So these circles, these are called radio buttons. That's an input. I'm selecting something. Drop downs are inputs. Promo code is input. And actually, buttons are technically input too. So those are all my inputs. Uh, and now, how we are doing this, hover over the drop down to see the ID. So you can't be running it for that to work, but if I hover, you see day drop down, minute drop down, uh, scooter radio button, ride button. And what these are used for is getting information uh, from the application. You can see right here, if get checked radi bike radio button. I can also go into design and you can see how they're set. Right here, this is, you can think of the ID as the name. So if I want to know what's going on with the radio button for bike, it's called bike radio button. Same thing for all these other things. They all have IDs. All right. How are we going to use that? Ah, uh, yeah. So we're going to set promo code, day, and duration. All right. Now, keep in mind, guys, these variables have already been declared up here. So you don't want to say var again. They have been made. They made them for us. We are just giving them values now. We're defining them. So I'm going to drop three of these for all three things. And then it wants duration, day, and promo code. So duration, day. And no quotes around these because these are variable. Um, these are variables. They're going to represent a value. Then we're going to use our get text box. So let me head over to UI and do get text. I'm going to drop, oop, hopefully, one, two, three. Now, duration. That's going to be where they're selecting the minutes. So let's see. Minute drop down. Perfect. And again, you can hover as long as you're not in run mode to get the IDs to be sure. Day. Day drop down and promo code, I believe. Is... There we go. Code input. All right. Now let's go ahead and test this out. I'm going to use the debug console. This is pretty handy. And I'm going to type in duration. I'm typing in all my variables. Day. And finally, promo code. Great. There we are. And now let me go ahead and hit run. And let's just make sure these update. Uh, I'll set it to a scooter. I'm going to set it to nine minutes. Sure, Saturday. Hello. And get a ride. Boom. So it looks like all of our variables working. Awesome. Onward.